My name's Susanna Johnson, and I'm running for Snohomish County Sheriff. They're both veterans of the Snohomish I County Sheriff's uh, Office. Adam Fortney rose through the ranks as a graveyard patrol sergeant to become a sheriff four years ago. I am incredibly proud of the things that we've done. Our priorities are... Susanna Johnson spent 30 years with the Sheriff's Office, only to retire quite briefly before joining the Bothell Police Department as a deputy chief. She now wants Fortney's job. There are some things that I believe we could do better, including public trust. Both are running on their records. Fortney brought in body cameras to the sheriff's office and started a community advisory board in the wake of the George Floyd killing. His rival believes her longer career makes her the better choice. I was a detective canine handler, SWAT team member, squad leader on SWAT, but also I've done those administrative roles. What are your plans for the for the next uh, four years? To keep doing exactly what we're doing. Fortney has survived two recall attempts after the outspoken sheriff expressed his displeasure with Governor Inslee's COVID lockdowns via Facebook post saying he would not enforce a stay at home order. Looking back, historically speaking, it was it was the right thing to do. I wish I would have worded it a little different. That's that's what I would say. I, the last thing I wanted was to create either um, division uh, in the in the community. Public safety can't be left or right, Republican or Democrat. But especially if you use the position to state your own personal political objectives, it does undermine that public trust. There have been a spate of overdoses and deaths at the Snohomish County Jail under Fortney's watch. Seven overdoses in a single night this past May. Fortney argues his staff is keeping prisoners safe in spite of the deadly fentanyl epidemic. I'm so incredibly proud of our team in there that saved all seven of them. You know, that, that is an incredible story. So if, if we didn't have the right things in place, that would not have happened that night. Election day is November 7th. Ballots are expected to go out next week. In Linwood, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.